I am Cynthia Schiller. Please like and subscribe. So the narcissist, uh, is it worth staying with them? I'll tell you what, I had something happen to me yesterday. Uh, it was Father's Day and um, my sister was over. Uh, we were all visiting and um, my mom told her she could go ahead and take a nap. Well, her little girl was playing outside. So I told the little girl to go inside and um, I'm watching the kid as I'm getting ready to back up. And the kid starts sneaking back out and I tell her to go back in the house. I'm like, are you sneaking? So I'm paying attention to the kid. I back into my sister's car. Quite a bit of damage, all my fault. So I have to go down, um, wake her up. My mom was supposed to wash the kid so she could take a nap. But I go and I tell her, I'm like, look, um, you know, I, I backed into your car and, um, I told her, you know, what happened with the little girl. And so anyways, um, she didn't throw a fit. She was very calm. She was thankful that her daughter was safe and she was very understanding. Um, I told her, you know, that, uh, I would cover the cost of it and she was very calming. Um, didn't yell at me, didn't make me feel like a fool was understanding. She was thankful, um, which felt good. She was thankful that as long as her daughter was okay, she said that the car is just an object, you know, and how would that have happened? if you were with a narcissist, because I'll tell you what, I already felt bad. And it was really nice to have somebody not go off on you, not to cut you down or to do the, you know, making it a, a worse situation than it was. Um, because it is just an object. How would your narcissist handle it? So when we're sitting here thinking, um, are we with a narcissist? Was our ex a nurse narcissist? Um, do we want to go back to that? And if you can comment below, what would have happened in your situation with your special person? Um, would they have gone off on you? Would they um, have cut you down? Would they have left you? Or would they have given you the silent treatment or ghosted you? Or I don't know, done some you know revenge in some way? When we think about what we're going through, whether we should stick it out or whether we should go back or move on or what's best for us is what we need to focus on. And it's like an eye opener when things that go wrong are still handled in a healthy way. There is no arguing. Um, there's no screaming. And it was just let's handle the situation calmly and without attitude. So there are differences between people with a healthy attitude in life um, and then people with mental illness. And we have a choice. We can choose who our partner in life is. I can't choose who my sister is, but luckily I have a very loving family. And as you move forward, seek out people who are kind to you even when things go wrong, because that felt really good. It didn't make me feel worthless. Um, it made me feel understood that accidents do happen. I didn't do it on purpose. And I know raising my daughter, um, I always told her if she tells me the truth and if the thing she did wasn't on purpose, she won't get in trouble. Um, I tried to encourage honesty for her to take accountability. Narcissists don't like to do that. So I think my sister appreciated that I took accountability for what I did wrong. And um, she dealt with the situation in a healthy way. Narcissists don't do that. And there's all different aspects of life of where things can go wrong. And does the narcissist take accountability? I did. Uh, does the narcissist handle it like my sister did? Or do they handle it in a toxic way? And do they carry grudges? They do. So they're going to bring that up over and over again of what a fool you were or how um, absent-minded you are. Uh, it's always going to be brought up to bring you down. And they just love to control our emotions. And I was already upset when I hit the car. And my sister, um, you know, how we mirror each other, she kind of brought it up a little bit. And I still felt bad. But I didn't feel like I was worthless. I didn't feel like I was unlovable because I made a mistake. Have you guys ever felt from your narcissist that you were unlovable because you made a mistake? My final discard with my first um 
was over a speeding ticket on Valentine's Day. You know, we were supposed to get married. He wanted to postpone the wedding, didn't say when. So, you know, we were off and on. Then we broke up because I didn't know what was going on. He canceled the wedding. We lived together. We had a daughter together. Um, and then we get back together. You know how the narcissist type relationships go uh, off and on. It usually takes seven discards before the relationship falls apart on average um, permanently. So we were getting back together. I'm supposed to move back in and I'm across state and I drive across state to see him. I arranged all these accommodations so I could get time off of work and have somebody watch our daughter and drive four hours. And I get there and he's like, how was your drive over here? I took accountability. I got a speeding ticket. And he looked out the window like I murdered his whole family. And um, that was that was the end of us. Valentine's Day. I got a speeding ticket. No argument. Just a look on his face like, what the hell's wrong with you? You know, going from we're getting back together, let's put this family back together to a speeding ticket. And there's no stability in a relationship with a narcissist. They're unstable. They will make their relationships unstable. They will do the same thing to the new supply. It all depends on if the new supply sticks around or if the narcissist um, sees something that is either easier or feeds his needs more. Um, they monkey branch. They secure other supplies that it's a fresh start. Sometimes when they hoover, it's because they realize, whoa, what did I give up? And sometimes when they hoover, we have to remember, they're not coming back to the person that they loved. They loved what we provided. So maybe we have more money or more status or more time, even just more time. And it's not because they're missing the love because you guys were in these relationships with them to where it was so confusing. It felt so off. Like, where is this connection? Like, I thought we were connected and I can't even ask a question. And um, the, their answers are so confusing. And the way the little jabs, um, the, the broken promises or the resentment that goes along with promises, it leaves you uncomfortable. It eats away at your soul. So I just wanted to bring up the point that what happened with my sister? I did probably $4,000 worth of damage. I'm waiting to hear. Um, cost me $1,000. I gave her $1,000 for a deductible. Like I was not having a good day, but she wasn't either. I just smashed her pretty much new car and uh we handled it you know so think about that with the next person that you end up with or if you should go back or if you're longing to go back to that toxic thing where you could get discarded over a speeding ticket you need stability in life that's what life why we go into relationships with with a mate is for stability somebody who has our back we have theirs and I've seen a lot of times that in late life, people who have been married into their 70s and 80s, that all of a sudden they're left because they got sick or they turned into a hassle. And you're left high and dry, broken hearted. And you want somebody there through thick or thin and pay attention to the red flags. Are, are they there through thick or thin? If you smash their car accidentally, how would they react? Something to think about and uh, stay strong. Let me know if you guys have any questions or topics. I'd love to do videos for you guys. One-on-ones -on -ones are available and keep it positive. Life gets better. Surround yourself with the right kind of people. Makes a huge difference in your life. I'll see you guys soon. Have a good day.